On this channel, we've showcased eyewear produced all over the world, whether that's France, Italy, Japan, Iceland, you name it. Except, we've never featured glasses made in the UK. Well, today that's about to change because in this video, we're showcasing Walter and Herbert frames, which are one of the last truly made in England brands. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if tradition, quality, heritage is important to you, then Walter and Herbert is a great place to start. And the name Walter and Herbert comes from the founders of the company, Walter Conway and Herbert Thorne, who back in the 1940s started the Optoplast eyewear manufacturing company. Three generations later, that company still exists and they've launched the Walter and Herbert eyewear collection, which plays on all the heritage, all the history of their company. It's an homage, if you will, from the current owners of the company to their grandparents who founded it so long ago. And you can tell that a lot of love has gone into the creation of these glasses. A lot of love and a lot of attention to detail. Now I have to say, knowing as I do that the best eyewear is generally made in countries like Italy, Japan, I was quite skeptical about the Walter and Herbert collection. Could an English company really live up to those standards? Well, in many ways they've exceeded them. I was very impressed with the attention to detail on all the frames within the collection and I've picked out some of the best models to showcase for you today. So sit back and relax and let's have a look at Walter and Herbert made in England glasses. So the frame that I'm wearing is actually a Walter and Herbert frame. This is called the Churchill. To me the Churchill is the most versatile of the entire Walter and Herbert range and I am a big fan of this particular striped yellow tortoise shell. I think it's very effective. A bit distinctive compared to most tortoise shells you see which are a bit more speckly. This has the striped pattern and I do like that. Now when you wear a Walter and Herbert frame, the first thing you'll notice is the softness of the acetate against the skin. You can tell that a lot of attention has been paid to the polishing on the frames and they feel very smooth as you wear them compared to a lot of other acetate frames where you can tell they're a bit more mass produced. Now whilst I really do like this yellow tortoiseshell color, I'm perhaps an even bigger fan of the crystal. And we did film a video fairly recently where I talked about the three best crystal frames around at the moment. And perhaps if we had these at the time, these would have made the list. Because I think, as I said in the video, I think crystal pairs so well with a round shape. And this is no exception. The Churchill comes in other colors as well, for example, black. But I really do like the crystal and this yellow tortoise shell that I wear myself. And one last really lovely detail on the frames is this touch of yellow right at the end tips. They really didn't need to do that, but I think that showcases the passion that the founders of the company have. They really wanted to make glasses which had all the little bells and whistles and no details left behind. So this is a unisex style. It can be worn by either men or ladies, but these three pairs here are definitely more feminine. This model is called the Simmons and this pairs a grey mottled acetate front with an exposed metal hinge and then a contrasting blue and grey tortoise shell arm. Again, beautiful levels of detail, whether that's the patterning on the front or the combination of the blue and the grey on the arms. They just stand out from other more ordinary glasses out there. You know, on 99% of other brands, you would see this tortoise shell pattern just followed through to the whole of the frame. You wouldn't have the exposed hinge. You wouldn't have the blue effect on the ends. That's quite difficult to achieve with acetate, which comes in solid blocks. It's, quite, it's actually quite difficult to achieve that combination of the two colors. But the designers clearly felt that it was worth the effort. And I agree. Similarly, this model, which is called the Davison, effortlessly pairs the teal top half of the frame with the brown bottom. And again, the metal arms, which have a lovely filigree detail, they're really, really stunning. And that filigree detail gives the frame or the side of the frame almost a crystal-like effect. You might not catch this on camera, but the metal actually reflects light and sparkles in its own way. It's a really, really good quality finish. And this color combination is quite rare. It's not one that I've come across before. It's gonna suit relatively fair skin tones. If you're a little bit paler than average, this kind of frame is gonna look fantastic on you. And the shape is really cool at the same time. We have this squared top combined with the rounded bottom, which pairs with the brown color. And it's just an exceptionally designed frame. I'm really, really impressed with this one. I think this is the nicest ladies model from the collection. And the third ladies model, which I've picked out for you today is called the Rutherford. This is a very typical cat's eye shape, nothing too special in terms of the shape on this frame. But again, we've got that sparkly reflective 
filigree detail on the arms, which is a stunning look. It really looks classy. And this is a great take on the crystal color. Rather than going for a fully transparent crystal like this, this adds an element of pink, which is just that extra bit feminine and is gonna make it a little bit easier to wear. Sometimes a white crystal like this can be quite stark. So it's quite a wearable color, still playing on that trend of crystal. Again, a lovely piece from the collection. Last up, I saved this one to last because it's arguably the most traditional style. When you think of British glasses, maybe you think of NHS glasses, this is that kind of look. It's got real John Lennon kind of vibes, real Harry Potter kind of vibes, and isn't that just typically English? But it's a cool style that, even though it's retro and vintage, is really back on trend in 2021. In fact, this kind of style never went out of fashion. For people who like it, they like it. A lot of people will see it and say Harry Potter in a negative way. I don't even see why that is a negative thing, but that's just how some people perceive it. Again, much better attention to detail than you might expect. We've got a pattern work along the metal rim. And by the way, this is a combination of a metal rim with an acetate interior. Very expensive, very costly to make. And metal nose pads. If you follow this channel, you know how much I like metal nose pads. I don't really see why all nose pads aren't metal. I guess some people don't prefer them and I guess plastic would be a lot cheaper or even silicon would be cheaper. But to me, it's worth the extra cost of the metal nose pads because it always feels a bit more premium and a bit smoother on the skin, to me at least. So this is a great take on that really traditional British round eye style. This one's called the Nash, by the way, and I love it. Now, all the models that I've showcased up till now, it's good to know they come in multiple colors. I've tried to pick out quite a wide spread of colors to show you a bit of variety from the collection, but I believe there are over 30 models within the range now, so it is quite a big collection. And the pinnacle of the collection are the limited edition series, which we have here. Each one of these frames is individually numbered up to 100. There are only 100 pieces of each one. So what are you getting with the limited edition models? Well, there are a few things. First of all, as opposed to conventional metal that's featured on the regular models from the range, this is beta titanium, the highest grade of titanium. And that makes the frames incredibly lightweight. These feel every bit as good as the highest quality frames that I've personally tried on, and I really mean that. I'm also incredibly impressed by the glossy finish on the titanium. I have never seen titanium finished to that level of polish. It's a beautiful effect and it makes them look almost like a piece of jewelry on the face. So this model is called the Hatchlands. And like I said, it's one of only a hundred models that have been made. The other thing with the limited edition frames, which I really appreciate, is they've come up with a custom acetate on the inside, which features the Walter and Herbert Hallmark. That is a custom acetate. That means they had to have these individual blocks of material made just for these frames. That just shows the level that Walter and Herbert wanted to go to as a brand to really create their own niche in the market and really impress the end wearer. As the end wearer here, I'm definitely impressed by this range. Not only that, but when you purchase one of these limited edition models, you actually get this whole presentation box. By far and away, the best packaging I've come across on a pair of glasses. This is all real wood with its own latch. And inside the presentation box, you get a Walter and Herbert case, of course. You get a really good cleaning cloth, which is inside this box. I don't want to open it because this is for one of the people who's going to order these frames. And let's not spoil their experience. You get a genuine leather Walter and Herbert keyring. Love the smell of fresh leather. And if you're not impressed by that, I really don't know what to say. It's really beautiful packaging, which really sums up the attitude of the founders of Walter and Herbert. Like I said, this brand is an homage to their grandparents. What better homage than producing exceptional quality frames, beautiful styles with packaging as good as this. It really is impressive. But before we finish, there are three other models within the limited edition series. This is the more masculine sunglass features exactly the same acetate that I talked about on the clear model with the same beta titanium arms. This is an awesome pair of sunglasses, really, really cool. So impressed by them and I would definitely recommend them to anybody. But they're also a ladies version of the optical and a ladies version of the sunglass as well. And this slightly more masculine sunglass is called the Polesden. A really exceptional sunglass and a really nice note to end this video on. 
so I do hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of the Walter and Herbert eyewear collection. I've really enjoyed it, presenting them to you. I feel like the, the love and passion that's gone into this brand has transmitted to me and hopefully I've transmitted it well to you as well. If you've got any questions about Walter and Herbert or about glasses in general, leave them in the comment section below. I love answering all your questions. If you found this video interesting, give us a like, subscribe to the channel because it really helps us grow and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.